welcome to the Green Parrot, a soul sauce workout by Dr. M.L.E. Beach Witch. The Green Parrot is a total core conditioning workout that will get deep into muscles you didn't know you had in your abdominals, your lower back, your glutes, and then of course some quads and some hamstrings because everything is all connected. Additionally, this workout is uniquely choreographed to stage a conversation with your inner critic. So you can move from judgment, criticism, from wanting to either combat that critic or ignore that critic towards collaborating, working together. Uh, so there are a lot of mental workouts out there that, that make this kind of promise. This, the Green Parrot uniquely, uses physical movement to flush the stories, thoughts, emotions, feelings that the inner critic is bringing up out of your system, right? To literally metabolize what's going on so you can transform your relationship with that part of yourself. This is a four part workout. There are four distinct phases. I've got another video, the green parrot all together, where I go through all four. That might be for you. This one I'm videoing in chunks. So if you only have, say, the bandwidth, the time, the energy in your body for the first phase for 10 minutes, you can do that. And also so you can maybe like repeat phase one if you're if that's where you're at, or you know, do two, four, three, one. It's an iterative process, it's not linear. Um, so I'm offering um, you know, each phase separately so you can make this a very unique alchemical workout work for you. Of course, it also helps if you have dogs around to give you some love and crawl all over your body. I'm going to get our bodies moving and talk some more about, you know, what makes this workout so effective and so unique. But before I do, you need a couple props, which are not your dogs, a block or a light book, something similar size and heft to a yoga block a wall, about enough space to straddle your legs. These are two of the most effective and accessible props that we can use um, when it comes to physical fitness, flexibility, mobility, core strength, some kind of mat. I will be starting in shoes for the first two phases or rounds of this workout. The second two are up against the wall and you'll wanna have some socks on. Water is always a great idea, especially when we're resetting our nervous system and flushing out toxins. Um, and finally, you might want to put on a playlist so you have something other than my voice to listen to. Um, probably something, maybe you know, a nice mix of soothing and energizing, um, given right the work that we are doing together. Starting in tabletop. So you'll notice that I've got my wall or my mat close to the wall, and that's because I'm, I know what's coming next but you wanna have enough space <laughs> that you can move freely. So let's start with some cows and some cats. <laughs> Inhale on the cow, exhale on the cat. Lengthen through your tailbone, drop down right through your lower back. You wanna get high through your upper back. Two more. So we will repeat this warm up. I will attempt to repeat this warm up before each phase of the Green Parrot Inner Critic Workout. Tuck your toes under, lift it up to down dog. All right, so hips high, press your shoulders through, start to let the blood flow the other direction, right? One of the most effective, easiest ways you can reset your nervous system. All of these motions are complex, designed to get you out of your head, to anchor you back in your body. So just hang in there with me. Come forward to plank, high in this plank position. So chest forward, shoulders maybe a little bit past your wrists, hips a little higher than normal maybe, navel into spine, high on your toes. Strong position there, push back and plank. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, plank. So the four phases of this workout address four questions. I find it helpful to ask my inner critic, which are what, not what, what with the U, why, who, and how. 
Each phase of the workout involves movements that spell the letters in those words. So the first phase, <laughs> we will spell what, W-H-U-T, with our bodies. Two more like this. Hold the spinal plank, drop your hips down. So it's like up dog prep. And yeah, it looks a little funky. Don't worry about it. Don't look at me. <laughs> Back to down dog, up dog prep. Drop your hips. So we, I wanna bring some flexibility, some mobility, some heat into our lower backs, our hips, our bellies. I'm pretty sure that's where our inner critic lives. <laughs> So let's uh, send some blood, send some breath there. Two more times. Drop it all the way down. Start to increase the range of motion. Last one. All right, y'all, four part sequence. Maybe watch me for a couple of rounds, then join me slightly before you are ready. Come forwards, high plank, up dog prep. Take it back, butt to heels, then down dog, hips high. Forward, drop it down. Take it back, hips high. So we're starting to, again, build some flexibility, some mobility, increasing the range of motion <laughs> as we build muscle memory with each rep. So I like to think that we're building, we're increasing the range of motion in our bodies and then doing the same, you know, for our minds, for our thought patterns, because what happens when our inner critic starts shouting is our thought patterns get really rigid and inflexible. Give me two more. Please, throughout this workout, move at your own pace. Last one. Round one, the what. Shift forward into plank. And as you do this, I'm gonna move my props so they're out of your way. So I want you to practice holding a high plank, taking your feet wide so they're at the edges or just off your yoga mat. All right, that's the Virgo in me. That was really bothering me, y'all. <laughs> okay, W, what? Tap your knees gently. Right, so knees are coming in and down. You can imagine we're making a W here. Getting really deep on those taps into lower abdominals, obliques. So what, what's up with the what? You know, the idea here is that we turn around and we ask our inner critic, what's up? <laughs> what's the story you're trying to tell me? What feelings and emotions are you trying to evoke? What are you trying to protect me from? What's your what? You know, because sometimes I, I, I imagine that, you know, she's screaming so loudly, you can't even really hear, right? Because there's so much noise. Give me four more. You might notice that you are working your entire body here. You're welcome. One more. Flip it over for the H. So this is where you need that block or book. Feet come up, knees 90 degrees to the hips, to the feet, block between your thighs and your forearms, get some good tension and then alternating push. All right, so yes, this is an H y'all. <laughs> I can see it. Um, so, you know, when I thought about the what, I was thinking about this idea of the green parrots, right? Um, green parrots are really noisy, they're really loud, they travel around in flocks, they yell at each other, they yell at you, they yell at your dogs. Um, we had a flat flock that was migrating through um, Sarasota, Florida, where I live, uh, my favorite part, and they were just flocking from one tree to the next and just yelling. <laughs> and it was, it was so loud, it was so dense that you, you couldn't even, like the what got lost. So I do often think that the inner critics, what gets lost, that there's a what also underneath the what, right? What are the words that you're hearing? But what's underneath that, right? What are the, the personal events, the historical details, 
right? Um, the ancestral trauma that's underneath that. Are we feeling this? Should we do four more on each side? Push. Don't re don't worry. We will release the upper abdominals after this. Last two. And one. Whew. Yes. Thank you. Flip it back over. Starting to hit our glutes, which are, yes, part of our core. So the coming back to tabletop, right elbow down to work the left leg, right? So opposite forearm, elbow down, leg extended, draw a U. So up and out, down and in, up and out, down and in. So imagine that you've got a Sharpie between your toes. You're like fun, maybe. And you are drawing the biggest, boldest you you can on your mom's favorite wall because you don't care. <laughs> um, I think that childhood visualization is really helpful for this move. Um, and also for this particular inner critic workout because, you know, so often our inner critics, they're what goes back to some deep childhood wound or trauma or experience, right? There's always something deeper in our past, in our psyche, underneath the what that the inner critic is actually yelling about. All right, y'all. Glutes. Yeah, can we feel it? So I want you to squeeze the bottom and the side of your butt right there. And we'll do five more. This is one of the most effective moves I know for lifting and raising your butt without putting pressure on your knees and your lower back, right? So a great alternative to squats and lunges. Last one here, and we take it to the other side. So again, left elbow down, left forearm down, right leg extended, out and up, in and down. So what we're doing here is we're using the long lever of our legs to get deeper. I firmly believe in the value of working with body weight. So again, phase one of this four part inner critic flush out workout is what? What? And so I really, you know, like to imagine that we're shining a light or trying to shine a light on some deep, dark, hidden place inside of us, right? Some place inside of us that's been silenced, um, you know, usually due to external factors, right? Some external pressure. But a place where there's actually like lots of potential and possibility. So to move from that self-criticism and judgment to what's the possibility, the potential that's untapped. Because I do believe, right, that our inner critic has good intentions. She's coming from a place of wanting to help. However, the yelling does not help. <laughs> so, you know, it, it really, um, you really have to practice, learn how to, to listen to her. And I really feel like once she feels heard, she will stop yelling. Two more. Big you, big you. Yes, so good. Flipping it back over. Or the T. So again, you'll need your block or your hook. Come all the way down. We did some really deep work for the upper abdominals, so now I want to hit the lower. So as the block in, or book in one hand, as the legs come up, your arm goes down your side, and then overhead, and you switch. Take your time here. You know, this is a really deep, intense workout, but it's also designed to be gentle because your nervous system is already in shock. Exhale up, inhale down. So this is the final move of our what phase. Um, as I was just speaking, I was reminded of a 
a quote from a Jane Bowles novel that I really love. The women never stop talking because they never feel heard. And I think that our inner critic is the same. The best way to get her to stop talking is to help her, invite her to feel heard. Learn more. So again, this might be enough for you physically. This might be enough for you mentally. So I invite you, if that's where you're at, move on with your day and come back to phase two sooner rather than later. Maybe a little bit before you're ready to. One more, one more each side. Get really deep here. The next phase is the what. So moving from what to why. If you're not joining me for the why, I encourage you to do some down dogs, some child poses, drink lots of water, take some time to transition. Maybe a couple minutes. <laughs> 